So together, that birth a twash. <laughs> birth a twash. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something uniquely different that's not currently trending in the natural hair community in terms of natural hairstyles, but separately, these styles are very well known. So I was debating on what I should do for the next video, and I couldn't decide between a wash and go or a twist out. So I started searching YouTube, trying to find some ideas, trying to get creative, and I just couldn't decide. So I stumbled across a video that said twash and go. And I didn't click on it because I was like, I don't know what that is. And then I saw another video a few scrolls later that said the same thing. So out of curiosity, I clicked on it to see what it was all about. And lo and behold, it's a combination of a wash and go and a twist out. So together, that created the twash. So a twash is basically a wash and go and a twist out style in one. So half of your hair is twisted out or flat twisted out and the remainder of that section is just left out in a curly defined wash and go. I'm not really sure who created this twash first but I've only seen two videos on it. I know Lexi Hair has a video on it. So this is a very cool creative idea. I don't know why I haven't seen more videos about it or if nobody else thought to combine these two styles together. But it looks like we're always coming up with new creative ideas in the natural hair community, which I really love. I love to see videos like that. So before I go further into the video, I've already washed my hair off camera. I deep conditioned, got all that out of the way. So my hair is nice and prepped and ready for this style. So let me go ahead and show you the products I'll be using to hopefully achieve this look. For my yale, I'll be using the pomegranate and honey twisting souffle. This product enhances curls with semi-deep definition with intense hydration for thick, curly, type 4 hair. And from Uncle Funky's daughter, I'll be using the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator for kinky, curly, and wavy textures. So the pomegranate twist and souffle is pretty new to me. This will be my third time uh, using this product and I really, really love it. It's very moisturizing, it's hydrating like it says, it's very penetrating on my type uh, textured hair. So I really love it and I know it's gonna give me great curl definition. And combined with the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator, these two products mesh very well together. They complement each other and it doesn't leave any white residue or balls of white residue in my hair. So with these two products being very hydrating and moisturizing, they are the perfect curly combo. So to begin this process, I'm gonna section my hair off into some chunky twists, medium to chunky twists, so to dry a little bit quicker. I'm gonna make sure I concentrate on my ends really well to make sure my curls are very defined at the ends and hopefully this style comes out the way in my brain I'm thinking it's gonna look but we will definitely find out together so this will be my first time doing this on camera you guys are gonna see me do this whole process if it goes well great if it doesn't it's no big deal because I'm just having fun with this so we're gonna go ahead and jump on into this thing and see how the style turns out so without further ado let's get started <laughs> Oh, 
two hours later. So I got up under the dryer and I am red as a beet because it burned me. But I went ahead and dried my hair just to make this process go by quicker because I didn't want to sleep on it and then wait the next day and then my curls and hair be messed up. So just got up on the dryer real quick and it is now ready for the takedown. So to get started, I'm going to use the Myo Moisture Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Scalp Treatment. So a little of this actually goes a very long way. So I'm just going to spritz just a little. That's probably more than a little, I'm sure. And for my edges, I'll be using from African Pride Black Castor Miracle Growth Protection Extra Hole Braid Lock and Twist Gel. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start to take this down carefully so I don't create a lot of frizz in my hair. So... Here we go. So that completes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this twash and go hairstyle that I did. I really liked it. It came out better than I thought it would. It's really curly and very fluffy, very airy. It doesn't feel weighed down or heavy at all. And I'm just really loving the style. As you can see, I put some little decorative jewels down the center of my part. I added a little extra here just for a little extra dangle, just to give the style a little bit more character, make the hairstyle kind of pop a little bit more. Now, right along the front of my hair, it's a little bit more looser, so it looks a little bit frizzier. Um, so I may just take some rollers and just kind of tighten those up a little bit. So that's the only portion that didn't really come out as great as I wanted. It's right there at the front. It's very loose and I know that's going to frizz up really quickly so I'll have to definitely put some rollers on that. Yeah, I will definitely try this again and I will definitely incorporate this as part of uh, my natural hairstyles going forward. So just tell me in the comments what you think. Is it something that you would try? Would you add this into your list of natural hairstyles going forward? Just let me know in the comments below. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it does help my channel. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Amazon store. It's just Janine and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.